608. Right now, there's been a major surge in coronavirus cases in Maryland recently. Nearly 150,000 COVID-19 cases have been confirmed in the state since the start of the pandemic. On Thursday, the Health Department announced 1,198 new cases. That is the largest number of new cases in any one day since July the 25th. 10 more people have died from the virus. The death toll for the state now 4,035 and the rate at which people test positive is also increased in Maryland. That number now up to 4.21%. Governor Hogan is warning people to think twice about traveling to states that have been seeing an even larger spike in cases of COVID-19 and he reiterated the state's travel advisory with people now making plans for the holidays. We have WMR 2 News Megan Knight outside BWI Airport this morning with that part of the story. Good morning, Megan. A stark warning from the governor. Yeah, absolutely, Christian. And, uh, you know, Thanksgiving certainly is going to look a lot different this year, especially at places like BWI Airport, which would be gearing up in a few weeks from now to see huge numbers of people coming through their terminals as they go to visit loved ones and friends for the holidays. But the governor issuing that warning yesterday to remain vigilant against this virus, not let your guard down, not let so-called COVID fatigue set in, especially when it comes to traveling and being with large groups of people. Now, he reiterated the state's travel advisory to other states that are seeing high numbers of COVID-19. He said that while he would consider canceling or postponing a trip to a state with a positivity rate of 10% or higher, if you do go to a state like that has numbers like that, you should immediately get tested when you return to Maryland and quarantine until you know the results. He also spoke about our state's increase in cases and the most likely culprits for people to contract the virus. Our contact tracing operation continues to show that uh, family gatherings, social gatherings are the most likely source of transmission. The number one activity of those who have become infected um, that shows up on our uh, contact tracing continues to be family gatherings followed by house parties. Yeah, definitely something worth noting, especially as we're heading into the holiday season. You know, the governor reiterating that fact there that, you know, of the more than half of the positive cases that we have seen in Maryland uh, recently through that contact tracing, he said most people said that they had traveled out of the state, they had gone to work, or they had gone to a family or social gathering there. So his message overall is just to keep safe, keep your distance, and keep wearing that mask. We're live at BWI Airport. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News.